Telerik Reporting is your complete .NET reporting solution for web, mobile, and desktop applications. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Telerik Reporting to create rich, beautiful, and interactive reports for your existing applications. Telerik Reporting allows you to author reports within tools like Visual Studio through integrated templates and a rich design time experience. Once authored, these reports can be deployed across a wide range of targets. Let's create a report that we'll deploy to the web. We'll start by creating a new ASP.NET web application called Hello Reporting. Since we're using ASP.NET, we can specify the template we wish to use to create the application. For this example, we'll pick the empty template and click OK to create it. Visual Studio will take a few seconds to create our project structure and then present us with our environment. Now that everything has been set up, Let's add a report page to our project. We'll do this through the built-in item templates that Telerik Reporting provides to create a new Report Viewer page. The Report Viewer is a control that allows users to work with the reports we create. Once created, we'll have Visual Studio rebuild the project. Our next task is to configure the reporting engine that will process and render the reports. The service defined here works in concert with the Report Viewer to serve up reports to our users. Telerik Reporting can incorporate a REST-based service endpoint or integrate a hosted report server. Since we're building this from scratch, we'll create a new REST-based service. Telerik Reporting will then prompt us to choose a report definition for the Report Viewer. Report definitions contain the structure and configuration for creating a project. For simplicity, we'll pick the sample report definition provided by Telerik Reporting. This is a report that provides a general overview of the Telerik Reporting solution itself. For now, we'll elect not to enable accessibility and click Finish. Visual Studio now has the information it needs to create the report project, along with files and dependencies for rendering the report to the user. Once this process is complete, a summary is displayed, informing us of the changes made to our project. If we open up the Report Viewer page, we can see the markup and script that's been generated by Telerik Reporting for displaying the report. Running this application will launch our default browser and display the sample report we selected. This report is contained inside the Report Viewer of Telerik Reporting. As you can see, it provides a consistent set of controls for navigation and operations like filtering. So, as you just saw, it's easy to incorporate and display reports on the web with Telerik Reporting. Next, let's see how we can customize these reports with data from backend services. Let's open up the sample report definition that was generated by Telerik Reporting. This will open up the definition in Telerik Report Designer the standalone design time tool for Telerik Reporting. Telerik Report Designer provides a WYSIWYG tool for creating and configuring reports. We can use this tool to navigate the report structure through the Report Explorer window. Let's delete the controls listed in this collection. We can insert a number of controls in this section that the Telerik Report Designer provides. For example, we can integrate charts, maps, subreports, and other report items. Here, let's add a crosstab through the built-in wizard. The crosstab is a container for data that's bound from an underlying data source. It's a powerful control in reports because it provides a range of functions like aggregates, summations, sorting, and more. We'll use it to show sales from a database along with product categories and subcategories per year. The first step is to configure the data source that will bind to the crosstab. Let's add a new data source. As you can see, Telerik Reporting supports a wide range of providers. For this example, let's bind to data located in SQL Server. Specifically, we'll use the AdventureWorks database. When creating a data source, Telerik Reporting provides the option for creating a shared connection or embedding its configuration in the report definition. We'll create a shared connection so that we can use it elsewhere. The next step is to configure the select statement that will pull data 
from AdventureWorks and bind the result set to our crosstab. Let's use a select statement that we've defined earlier. Here, we have a parameter called year that will be used by the report viewer to filter the data in the report. Let's set the underlying type to be an integer and the value to be bound to a report parameter. By default, we'll set the value to be 2001. We'll also have to define a list of values from an underlying data source so that we can filter values out as we navigate the report. Once again, we'll configure the data source to connect to SQL Server and use the AdventureWorks database as our data. We'll use the shared connection we created earlier and define the select statement to pull out the available years from our sales order header table. Executing the query will display the distinct years found in the sales of our AdventureWorks database. We'll use this result set as a criteria to filter the report. Finally, we'll set the display member of the year to be the year column itself. The same goes for the value member. Once we're finished, we'll set the design time value of the year parameter and execute the query to preview the results. As you can see, we're getting the results set back from the AdventureWorks database as expected. The next step is to configure the cross tab by setting its row groups and detail values. These are the bound columns that we'll use from sales table in the AdventureWorks database. We'll then define the layout and style we want to display for the cross tab in our report. Once this is done, we'll see a display for the cross tab in our report definition. Let's dock this to the top left-hand corner of the Details section and preview the results. At this point, Telric Reporting will generate the report, pull down the data from the underlying data source, and bind that data to the cross tab in the report definition. Now, as you can see, the line total column is displaying a lot of data. Let's see if we can clean this up. We'll jump back to the Telric Report Designer and stretch out the cross tab to occupy more space in the report. We'll then delete the row containing the line totals for each product. This should simplify the report a great deal. As you can see, the report designer makes it easy to incorporate changes quickly through the WYSIWYG interface. This includes changes to properties. For example, let's update the action associated with the product category field. Actions are events that can be triggered by users through a report viewer. In this case, we'd like to toggle the visibility of the product category if it's clicked. This will allow users to expand or collapse these categories in the report. If we preview these changes, we can see how this action is triggered. We can also filter the report by the year parameter we specified in the report definition. This will allow users to control what data they wish to see. We can also make further changes to the report definition to control how it behaves and looks at runtime. Telerik Report Designer makes this very easy to do. Let's make another change to the report. Here, we'll take advantage of the integrated charts that are available, namely the pie chart. When a chart is added to the report, Telerik Report Designer will ask us to specify a data source. Let's use the shared data source we created earlier. Next, we need to specify the various fields that will be used to render the chart. We'll set the series to be the list of product categories and the value to be their line totals. Telerik Report Designer provides us with a representation that can be positioned and styled. As you can see, Telerik Reporting provides an intuitive means of creating reports that are highly functional and informative to users. 
Changes made to the year are reflected in both the cross tab and pie chart that's present on the page. Let's now jump back to Visual Studio and see the changes we've made in the context of the ASP.NET web application we created at the beginning of this video. As you can see, an error is displayed, informing us that Telerik reporting cannot connect to the database we specified in the Telerik report designer. And that's because we need to specify the connection string in our web.config file. Telerik reporting allows you to target multiple platforms. However, we need to ensure that we do the right thing in terms of setting configuration values. In the case of ASP.NET, this is done in web.config. If we start this application again, we can see that the connection is now established and the data that's retrieved is bound through to the controls in the report viewer. It should be pointed out that the report viewer is built on modern web standards around HTML5 and can be leveraged across different browsers running on different platforms. The actions we specified in Telerik Report Designer apply through to the triggers set on the year dropdown list. When triggered, the report updates and users can gain deeper insights into the data that the report displays. The report viewer is incredibly powerful. In addition to the features you've seen so far, it also supports the ability to export to popular formats, including PDF. This supports the rich set of specifications that enterprises must support across the organization when it comes to documents. The fidelity of these documents is preserved when exporting reports to these formats. So, as you've seen, Telework Reporting provides a rich set of capabilities that support many reporting requirements. This is a small demonstration of its potential. For more information, I invite you to visit our website and download a trial. Online demos are also available. In the meantime, please take the time to download our white paper on creating beautiful reports through Telework Reporting and our rich support for styling. We also have a blog post detailing our report templates and methods you can apply to incorporate Telerik reporting into your existing applications.